Hey Osmia, welcome back to Shadowrun Dragonfall Sekarang setelah kemarin kita ngobrol dengan Mas Paul Amsel Kita sekarang punya lead Gimana? Sekarang kita akan menemui um, Seseorang yang memberikan job kepada Monica Yang mana membuat dia terbunuh Yang bernama Green Winter Tetapi dia tidak diketahui lokasinya Dan sekarang kita akan menuju seseorang yang Apa ya, sebagai information broker Atau seseorang yang tahu banyak Yang bernama Altuk Burak kasih ya, Altuk Burak kasih How did you get the information about Green Winters? No, not yet, yet. I will almost cry. Then please continue working, we need to find that man. Mm -hmm. Dan sepertinya Mas Altuk ini memiliki sebuah cafe di luar. Dan ini adalah tempat kita markas. Bukan tempat kita, lebih tempat ke markas sebelum kamu mulai misi dari setiap kali kamu selesai melakukan misi atau akan melakukan misi kamu akan berada di tempat ini dan kita akan lihat sebentar lagi daerah di luar detect turn his head at you as detect turn his head at your approach his aging face is straight with a network of faint scars the legacy of too many fight over too many years while he still retain a degree of strength and vigor it's obvious that the shaman you see today is a shadow of his former self hmm. Despite all this, there is still an aura of power surrounding the man. He raises his bottle, offering it to you. Holds, welcome. I've got a bottle of snaps that needs sharing, and we got a we've got a fallen comrade to drink to. Yeah, take the bottle. Go ahead, toss Monica. I'm drinking to the French. Yeah, don't drink, but don't change You drink to Monica. Uh, yes, my young. Atas aja. Take the bottle. Prost. The liquor in the bottle is crystal clear, and as you raise it, you catch an intoxicating whiff of cloves and caramel. It tastes of sweet corn and walnuts, with a lingering aftertaste of buttery toffee. Buttery toffee? Yeah, what is it? You swallow a swig, then return the bottle to Dietrich's outstretched hand. He takes a long pull on the bottle, then locks eye with you. Let me ask you a question, Holtz. What made you choose to come to Berlin? Hmm. Why do you want to know? Monica told me that you moved here from the Rina Rer Megaplex. Made it sound like you've been there for a good many years, successful years at that. Leads a man to wonder why you packed up and moved here. Hmm. Iya, saya tidak tahu karakternya ini, backgroundnya seperti apa tapi. Rumah old group is me, it was time for change, that's all. Seperti yang bawah, a run went bad, and my time paid the price. Did you raise an eyebrow? Went bad, huh? Like the one we just came back from went bad? Hmm. Seperti yang bawah, I was under the sofa. That's rough, friend. How did it happen? Um, you were the book cross, the run when we got hit. Mm. <laughs> Somebody clued our target into our arrival. They set a trap, set a trap for us, and we walked right into it. That's a bad deal all around. I'm sorry to hear it, friend. Mm. So after all this went down, you decide to bail out of the rural plex and head to Berlin. Am I getting it? Uh, am I getting that right? There was a bit more into it than that, but yeah. So you come to back, so you come on back to Berlin and to Monica. Trader raises his bottle again, then closes his eyes and takes a long drink. After the woman has passed, he returns his attention to you. It all comes back to our girl, doesn't it? So let me ask you, just what was your relationship with Monica anyway? I know that you two knew each other way back, but she was pretty coy about these things. Hmm. <laughs> the question is Are you always this inquisitive? Yeah, I suppose. My life's an my life is an open book, so I guess I just sort of figure that everyone else will be too. Mm. So how about it? Wanna film in? We were 
friends, yeah, right there with you, and privileged to say so. She was one of the best women I've ever known. Anyway, I've taken enough of your time, and the bottle's almost empty. Thanks for talking. Thanks for taking the time to talk. For what it's worth, I'm happy you are here with us. Catrick takes a final pull on the bottle, then tips it forward, pouring the rest on the ground. Rest in peace, Monica. We'll miss you, girl. Hmm, yeah. Catrick sebenarnya memang orang yang baik-baik dan dia sudah memiliki banyak sekali apa ya pengalaman bertempur dan sebagainya sebagai seorang shaman. Kita akan cek tempat lain atau sebenarnya eager karena dia menjadi salah satu salah seorang yang paling terpukul di antara semuanya. Eager glares at you, and you can taste the bile in her stare. She clearly still blames you for Monica's death. Something I can do for you, fearless leader. Sepertinya, we need to talk to Monica. Not right now. Not right now. We don't. Don't push me on this hold. One of these day, we're gonna hash this out, and you can talk all you like about the cluster fuck that killed one of my best friends. But it won't be today. Ya sepertinya Eger tidak mau berbicara tentang Monica sekarang. Alright, Eger, I get a hint. I'll give you your space. Good call. She turns away. And Glory. Glory is beautiful in a way, fish short of way. Her features are almost elfish in their delicacy. But there's something cold about her that you find slightly unsettling. What's more unsettling is her chrome. Clara is rocking a heavy load out of cyberware from head to toe. She looks to be composed more of plastic than metal. She looks to be composed more of plastic and metal than she is of skin and bone. In the shadows, individuals such as this thing. Oh, I'm sorry. In the shadow, individuals such as this are anything but uncommon. But Glory's cyberware is first generation, all of it, bulky, impressive, practically museum pieces. This chrome was obsolete well before she was born. Holds, Glory shifts her gaze to you, but her expression is as cool as placid as always. Can I help you? I need thought on what we should do next. Find our missing client, extract some answer, beyond that, find another decker. Monica won't be won't be easy to replace. Best start best start looking now. Don't worry about me, I'm solid. Mm, you say you're good, you're good. I trust you, you'd better be if you more. Atas, you, sure you look like you look like you are a million miles away. I'll be with you when it comes. Right now, it doesn't. Okay, I'll talk to you later. So, yeah. Suit yourself. Jadi sangat dingin. Um, bawaan karakternya. Dan sekarang kita memiliki satu buah kru yaitu Dante, seorang anjing bulldog. Saya tidak tahu ras-ras anjing, tapi sepertinya Ini cukup besar untuk ukurannya dibandingkan dengan karakter Impulse. As you start towards the safe house door, a large four-legged form steps around the corner. Dante, Monica's dog, an enormous mongrel of intermediate breed. A whimper emerges as he enters the room, head hanging low. Hmm. Oh shit, Dante. Dietrich shakes his head. Don't worry, boy. We'll look after you. Ini you know, anjingnya Monica. At the side of Monica's dog, Amsel eyes were locked. He inhales but can't quite catch his breath. He started whimpering about an hour ago, turned into a full blown hole. Wouldn't stop. Kept. He closed his eyes. That's when I realized something bad, ma- bad had happened. Oh, yeah. Tampang seperti anjing. Yeah, tahu saya tidak tahu rasnya. Looking down into those huge brown eyes, you see intelligence and sadness. He lets out a small whine and rubs his head against you. Mm. Scratch Dante behind the ears. Dante leans into you and looks you, looks up mourn, mournfully. 
pressing his strips against your legs. I guess the dog is going with you, Holt. Amsel takes a rough breath and releases, releases it. Then a slow, melancholy smile plays across his face. Well, perhaps a part of Monica lives on in Dante. Return to the safe house when you're finished with Altuk. Main friend. Main friend? Say there's a bus up in. So it's referring to my friend. Main friend. With a little luck, he can help us locate Green Winters. And we can get to the bottom of this. He stares at the floor. And now I think we should all take poor Monica. Ya, saatnya kita mencari mas um, siapa namanya itu? Aldo, berat kasih ya. Namanya cukup susah. And ini adalah di luar. Sekarang kita bisa keluar dan um, ini adalah kru besar, kru besar di mana sebuah tempat yang um, apa namanya? Saya bisa bilang peaceful atau damai. Donation for the soup kitchen have slowed Samuel. See, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not surprised. Also, some come often. Blah blah blah. Tidak kelihatan. Dia bilang apa? Oh, jadi itu um, ini adalah kru besar di mana tujuannya adalah kesini sebuah coffee shop. Dan di tempat ini setelah kamu menyelesaikan misi biasanya kamu akan membutuhkan sesuatu yang baru. Kamu akan mendapatkan karma points di mana kamu bisa menaikkan stats. Dan di sini juga banyak toko senjata, toko armor, perlengkapan dan sebagainya yang bisa kamu gunakan untuk um, memperbaiki atau meningkatkan kemampuan karakter-karakter kamu. And di sini ada Altuk Burakasi, kemudian ada John Goldsmith. Hello, my friend. A fine day for a soy cafe. Yes, the voice that comes from uh, the man in the chair is an is as enormous as its owner, a deep, booming roar, dripping with unrestra unrestrained melt. Uh, every day is a fine day. From the back of the store, the voice of the ship keep cuts you off. Don't mind the fool in the chair, he roars like a trauma traumatized walrus, staring all day in his own sweat. The man behind the bar glares at goldsmiths, his upper lips curl in disgust. I tolerate him only because he takes his soy cup by the bucket. Goldsmith responds with a row belly laugh. Apparently, he finds the shopkeeper's insults to be hilarious. Oh, also, main friend, you are as quick-witted and sharp-tongued as ever. I bow to you. Are you going to... Once again, the shopkeeper cuts him. To bow to me, you would first have to vacate your chair. The shop keeps, claps his hand together, clasping them in front of his chest. I shall summon a team of determined young men and an ox to assist, assist with the task. With luck, you will be on your feet by nightfall. Cosmic smiles up to you, his small eyes glittering. Enough of the senseless bickering, you have approached me for a reason, yes? Tell me, what can John Goldsmith do for you? Um. Don't you have uh, something that's going to happen if you just stop in the thing? Why did you put up with those insults? Why did you put up with those insults? Don't you have any pride? I put up with them because they amuse me. The fact that they amuse me infuriates, infuriates my dear friend Althuk, who in turn hurls more insults. Goldsmith raises his soak of cup in salute, and thus the cycle continues. It is two years now that I've been your customer, yes, Althuk? Two years of soy guff and strained patience, yes. <laughs> and I remain happy, and Althuk makes money, an ideal, uh, an ideal business relationship. That's all sound perfectly healthy, take care, Jean. Goldsmith gives you a deep nod, his jaws quivering, until next time, my friend. Hmm. Ya sepertinya Altuk itu selalu mengganggu Siapa namanya? Jean Tetapi Jean tidak menganggap um, Gangguan dari Altuk itu Mengganggu tapi malah Hilarious atau funny Menghibur Dan ini adalah Altuk Burakasi Seorang pemilik bar 
The man behind the counter looks right past you and at the dog following close behind close behind. Dante, yeah, I will fetch this water dish and perhaps a coffee for our friend here. Um but this unbury soy gone. Soy cough black yeah. Very well. A soy cough. He tsk to himself. A soy cough. <laughs> Yeah, lima dollar F1 lima nya. The man behind the counter has the broad smile and open demeanor of a classic Turkish street vendor. Welcome, honored Evendim. Welcome. And how can Burakazi serve you today? You would like a cup of coffee, perhaps? Hmm, seperti yang nomor satu saja. Paul Amsel send his regards. Yeah. When he hears Amsel's name, the Turk's voice lowers and his accent become less exaggerated. His eyes takes on a knowing look. Oh, very good. Please express to her Amsel my appreciation of his patronage. If he needs any more catering jobs, seen to the future, I am always happy to provide. Sepertinya yang bawah saja. Kita akan ikut bermain kata-kata dari Alto dan dia menggunakan istilah konotasi sebagai um, media komunikasinya. Aduh, saya tidak membaca yang tadi. I'm sorry. Uh, the coffee shop of the, the coffee shop owner offers you a smile. Of course, of course. Her Amsel is too kind. Burakasi turns his head and calls into the back room. Kami, come. A young woman bustles in front. Bustle in from the back room. Her gum chewing is loud enough to hear over the noise of the coffee grinder. Burakazi spits something out in rapid fire Turkish. As you wish, uncle, I will see to it right now. Kami offers you a shy grin, snaps her gum, and hurries back into the room that she came from. My girl Kami is arranging to make contact with the chef as we speak. This will likely take some time. My chef is a busy man. While we wait, I wonder if you would be so kind as to run a small errand of me. A trifle, really. I had to trouble you. I am embarrassed to even ask. But I would be most appreciative of your help. Um, sepertinya yang bawah saja kita ikuti. Of course, her burak kasih. It is no trouble at all. Alzuk voice lowers to nearly a whisper. The errand is simple, hardly worthy of you. I have installed a number of data tabs to Berlin's fiber optic network. As part of my civic duty, you understand? These tabs provide free metric access for all who live in the cruise bazaar. Metric access? Ini sepertinya seperti koneksi internet gratis di cruise bazaar. In order to maintain their, how, I, how do I say, it? their anonymity, each tab's protocol buffer must be reset every few days. I simply wish for you to visit each data tab and reset it. Mm, yeah, simple enough. Yes, yes, it is simple job. Time-consuming and a bit tedious, perhaps, but simple. Just reset the tabs and come back when you are finished. There should be three of them scattered around this neighborhood. The first one is just outside. Look for a metal box with yellow arrows pointed atop it. By the time of your return, I should have the information her Amsel requested. Ya, yeah, data tabs kita akan pergi keluar sebentar untuk mem reset data tabs untuk menjaga um, anonimitas pengguna internet di sini di kru besar sebenarnya ini yang pertama ya yeah. the da this data tabs protocol buffer is now reset jadi yeah, kita akan mencek segalanya dulu tapi ya yeah, sebenarnya saya akan clearing clearing dulu untuk me reset data tabnya saya kurang ingat di mana tapi sepertinya berada di pojok pojok or something um, answer box hmm ya yeah, sebenarnya ya yeah, lima oh, yeah. sudah saya tidak tahu efeknya tapi sepertinya akan berpengaruh di masa depan 
dan data tapsnya itu di mana? Terkeliling-keliling saja. Uh, you looking for some magic man friend? If if you got the cash, or Zack got the flash? Yeah. Zack flash. Dan yang kedua sebenarnya riset data tap. Triage cyber clinic. Satu lagi sepertinya di pojok sebelah sana. Sepertinya saya kurang ingat. Um, ya yeah, itu. Bisa ada tabs. Itu phone rings. Hmm. As you are resetting the data tab, you notice that someone had duct taped a small homemade receiver to the system. An air plug tangles from the receiver. Uh, put the air plug in your ear. The sound of heavy machinery makes it difficult to hear the words that are being spoken. After a moment, you find you can make out two distinct voices a nasal woman who sounds like a heavy smoker and a man who speaks in a high pitched breathy sound nasal woman just heard monica need to verify yeah. ya karena ini tidak jelas suaranya karena berada di banyak mesin-mesin besar sepertinya he high pitched man good for us yeah, continue listening Sound like a conveyor belt starting as to the noise of machinery and you can make out anything else until it comes to a stop a minute later a minute a minutes later hi peace man uh, I think our next step wait isn't ready to make a move yet to be patient see who set up could be someone more continue listening to that Lanjutkan untuk mendengar. More conveyor belt starts start up. All you can hear is the sound of machinery. Continue listening. Some sort of motor that vehicle starts up, drowning out everything else. Continue listening. A bell rings loud. A bell rings loudly again and again. It sounds like a telephone. You hear the sound of a door slamming shut, and the noise of machinery is suddenly muffled. The rattle of plastic and the ringing stops. Guten Tag, how may I help you? Yeah, this nasal woman voice can be heard again in a sing-song tone. Guten Tag. Itu nama tempat atau nama orang? I don't remember. Her tone changes, become more business-like. I heard silence. Yes, he knew. I told him it wasn't time to make a move yet. Who do you think I am? An idiot? The council needs to meet again. Silence. I know getting everyone in the same room is challenging. Getting them to agree on a course of action is going to be even more challenging. From my perspective, the Grubasar was only stable because of her. If she is really out of the way, well, we'll see, won't we? Ja. I know, I know. What can I say? Things go slow in the flux sometimes. Ja, ja. Ja itu bye bye atau ja bye di dalam bahasa Jepang. Apa di orang berong ngobrol dengan orang Jepang? Belum tahu. You hear the sound of the door opening again, and the cacophony of machinery fills the line. You can make out anything anymore. Yeah, ada phone rings and. It is an old obsolete phone booth. It is ringing. Pick up the receiver. A monotone, pitch-adjusted voice begins speaking almost immediately. The shocks will, shocks will and readers. The shock will and readers. Contact for this kiosk is no more. Holds is listed as follow-up contacts. What shock will contact? Um. This is our only secured line to this keys. Please listen to the following instruction carefully if you are supporter of our cause. Mm, who are the shock well and reader? The shock well and reader is fighting for the freedom and liberty of information in Berlin. The EF state manages many things, but information remains controlled. Corporations keep any information they can under lock and key 
silencing the sin, silencing indiscretion, silencing the truth. Our goal is to liberate this information so that any who wish to might access it, and so that the F state can regulate itself based on truth. We are simply a collective of like-minded individuals working towards this cause. Continue listening. Jadi sepertinya agen yang di sini adalah Monica Shafa yang mana dia sepertinya dihubungi tapi karena Holt sekarang menjadi leader jadi sepertinya jabatan itu berpindah ke Holt We have phone booths in strategic locations throughout the city within each one you may find request posted for specific information if you can obtain a copy of this information return here and submit it via the port below the receiver we will verify the authenticity of the information remotely and post an undoctored copy of it into the Maastricht ourselves, onto the Maastricht ourselves. It is our stated goal for this information to remain free to all. However, you will be compensated for sought after information returned to this location. Hmm. The line goes silence. I'll keep an eye out. The line remains silence. Yeah. This is probably going to sesuatu yang bisa kita kumpulkan data-data dan sebagainya yang mana kita akan berikan kembali ke Sowell Rainer something something saya kurang ingat jadi ada tubuh tubuh sebenarnya tidak begitu penting so saya akan skip saja uh, bizarre monument towers before you at the top of the pedestal the form of an angel stands it is outstretched wings looming over the small park but the material is strange and uneven Giving the statue a cold Frankenstein askew appearance, it appears that the artist has welded this monument together from various metal scraps and pieces of junk. <laughs> As you approach, a small green monitor at the base of the statue flickers dimly to life. The grainy face of a smug young orc appears on screen. Hello there, I am Herbal Kanzel, the creator of this monument. What would you like to know? Ya, sepertinya step away saja tidak begitu penting so. ya kita sekarang sudah mengcover um, tiga buah data riset tab dan sekarang saya akan menceritakan sedikit tentang profesor di mana di sini akan bukan ada begitu beberapa orang yang bisa kamu ajak ngobrol dan kemudian akan ada toko um, yang gimana kamu bisa membeli barang-barang untuk melengkapi perlengkapan kamu Shadow running. Dan ini adalah Simi, saya tidak tahu ini siapa. Warning herself in the dim light of a dying street lamp is a wife of a girl who looks far too worn for her years. The mother superior, she says there will be seven for me to care for. I need to see them. Mm, you are high. Seven what? What do you have to care for? The captain's children, the mother superior, says there are seven. The captain's children, captain, she says I'm to be governess to the children. You notice a chipjack poking out beneath the young woman's unruly hair. The fashion look in her eyes marks her as a likely BTL chunky. Lost between reality and any numbers of better than life virtual construct. I need money to go back to them. Yeah, I'm going to step away now. Dan ini ada keterangan di, um, yang disebutkan PT ya, atau Better Than Life. Jadi itu seperti apa ya? Setahu saya, setahu saya yang, yang saya tahu itu adalah semacam kepribadian yang bisa kamu masukkan ke dalam diri seseorang. Jadi um, di dunia Shadow ini um, orang sudah bisa dimasuki data otaknya. Jadi akan ada chip apa ya tempat slot seperti seperti tempat slot USB seperti itu yang mana kamu bisa masuki data chip seperti BTL kemudian ada juga jacknya data jack yang mana bisa digunakan untuk masuk ke dalam matrix seperti yang Monica lakukan so itu ada beberapa hal yang sangat unik di um, setting apa namanya uh, istilahnya cyberpunk ya ini adalah mas the Romani Patria is an mm. the Romani Patria is an impressive figure an enormous man in his late 60s, 
burly and broad-chested despite his age, his voice is deep and resonant, and his breath is heavy with the stench of pipe tobacco. Gunari Midbach Devan Blackstail, you are here to conduct some business. If so, I will come you to Matbah Arms and Ammunition. If not, keep right on walking. Um, yeah, ini adalah penjual senjata. Um, I was actually hoping to ask you a few questions. Coba kita akan lihat apa yang bisa kita bicarakan dengan mas-mas ini. You make a purchase. You can ask as many questions as you like. The corner of the small twitches upward. I can pick enough purchase, and who knows, I might even answer with you. So what will it be? Will you buy some guns, or will you be on your merry way? In that case, I'm, I'm suppose, I suppose I'm buying. buying. Very good. Yeah, dia tidak mau berbicara sebelum kita membeli beberapa barang. So, ini adalah persenjataan yang bisa kita beli, dan karena saya menggunakan shotgun. So, saya akan beli yang ini sepertinya. Pandeli Ravello Damage 12 Wow, Street Sweeper Ini sangat bagus Tapi saya pertanyaan saya tidak begitu suka Karena kapasitasnya dua Jadi kamu bisa menembak dua kali Dan kemudian reload Ini dengan yang ini um, Dia punya 12 damage dan kapasitasnya 4 Tapi karena uang saya hanya 1200 Jadi sepertinya saya akan exit dulu So, itu adalah Um, toko senjata dan sekarang ini itu lain lain um, lain before you stand before you stands a troll so it is stretched to say he is standing at all his great mass is barely held upright by two vintage prosthetic legs along with a shirt with a crutch to crutch under one arm his body clicks and hums with every shift of his weight Despite these disabilities, his eyes are sharp and calculating. I know you. Yeah, I haven't been here. He haven't been here long. New to the crew bazaar, then heard Monica had some fresh meat in her stable. Mm, there's something you should know about Monica. Yeah, something happened to her on the run. Or did you know? It was written all over your face. <laughs> Uh, I had a feeling, besides, Monica almost always comes around after a run to check on everybody. She's long overdue, and now here you are in her place. So she's either severely wounded or outright dead. Which is, which is it? Which is it? We, we, I'm afraid she's gone. Yes, yeah, sama aja, sama saja. The grizzled troll not screamly, the surface in his processing complain as he lets loose a heavy sea. Heavy sigh. Heavy sigh. Saya tidak tahu bagaimana cara mengucapkan sigh. Now that, now that is a shame. She was a hell of a runner. That one. And a good friend. Yeah, I love you both. Hmm, dia sebenarnya semua orang di sini itu mengenal Monica sebagai orang yang baik. Okay. Dan itu adalah seorang orang di saya tidak tahu dia menjual apa tapi saya lihat dia hanya seorang um, resident atau orang biasa yang uh, David saya sudah ingat ini siapa a pair of round eyes peer up at you from under the hood of a cream smeared winter coat you recognize him as David one of the Kubasar street skit if you had to guess You'd press him in his mid-teens, mid-teens. So it is difficult to tell beneath the cream and acne marring his face. You've seen him following Monica's around between runs, chasing her heels like a lost puppy. She always seems to have a soft spot for the kid. Hmm. Oh, hoi, Holtz. Have you seen Monica around? I've been looking all over for her. I'm afraid I have some bad news for you, kid. The kid brings a blank expression on his face. She's dead, isn't she? Hmm, sepertinya. It was quick, she went peacefully. That's the most that any of us can hope for. Yeah, look, I I think I wanna be alone right now, yeah. Yeah, dia sepertinya sangat menyukai Monica. Sebagai seorang anak kecil. 
Sekarang kembali saja ke tempatnya Mas Altuk. Altuk beraski burak kasi. Welcome back, Anor Evandim. How may I serve you? I finish your little trifle. Her burak kasi. Oh, very good. I assume you had no difficulties. Sepertinya, sepertinya yang baru. Oh, no one. One of the tabs had been modified a bit, though. Someone was using it as a surveillance device. Haha, of course they were. I would be surprised they were not. This is Berlin, after all. In the flux, everyone spies. If you do not spy, how will you know who is in power and who will be in the in power next? If you are to stay here, even dim, you must get used to it. Who enters the Turkish path will sweat, as my uncle Taidimer always says. Who enters the Turkish path will sweat. Nevertheless, I shall have one of my people look into it. Wait, there's more. I listen. I listened it in. I listened it on the tab and heard something might be important. Her he eyes you closely, amused. Oh ho! Tell me, oh listener at keyholes, what did you hear on this surveillance tab you found? I couldn't make a. I couldn't make out much. A nasal woman and a hippie man. This seemed pleased. Monica was out of picture. Yep. The Turk's face falls. News travel fast in Berlin. These two men, known to me, is there more? The woman got called. She talked about council meeting tonight to decide if they should make a move. Then she was drowned out by heavy machinery. He not screamly, most excellent. It is indeed fortuitous. Fortuitous. It is indeed fortuitous that you discover this information. So it is not unexpected. I will have one of my people attend. This council meeting and report back. Sounds good. Keep me in the loop. With that out of the way, let us return to our pressing business. He busks a stream of rapid fire turkeys, and the gum-shaving young woman comes hurrying out to the counter. The menu for her uncle, uncle, Kami hands you a folded piece of paper. Inside is a memory stick. Please extend my consolation to him. The death of Frolin Shafa must have hit him hard. Ya, kami itu adalah bahasa Jepang dari paper atau kertas. Namanya sama persis. Dan dia memberikan apa ya? Kertas yang dilempit atau di ya ditutup seperti itu. Burakasi gives kami a small nod, and she hurries out of the room. When she's gone, he returns his attention to you. Please express my condolences as well. I only just heard the news. Monica was an important part of this community. Yeah. He frowns. Few know how important. Yeah, jadi sepertinya keberadaan Monica di sini itu sangat penting dan hanya sedikit dari penghuni kru besar yang mengetahuinya. The memoir stick kami just handed you should contain all the information her Amsel requires from our chef in the field. Should you inquire my services in the future, you know where to find me. Until then, good day. Ya, sebenarnya sepertinya kita sudah memiliki informasi yang dibutuhkan dari chef atau tukang masak. Um, saudara Altuk. Yang mana sepertinya itu adalah informasi dari Green Winters. Sang apa ya, pemberi, pemberi job, pemberi pekerjaan ke mereka. Recording, right? Yeah, I am recording. Okay. Seperti kita akan kembali. Wow, mereka semua berkumpul ternyata. Eager. This isn't the best times. Come back later if you want to talk. Coba di trick. Dude, I've got nothing more to say, boss. Let's just let's just get this run taken care of. You can hit me up again later if you want to. Holds Amsel peers you. Amsel peers at you apprehensively. His eyes are bloodshot. His expression is grim. 
did you get information about green windows um yes i spoke to altuk he gave me this memory stick yeah let us see what his agent has to say amster snatches the memory stick from your hand and slot slots it into his computer terminal he, nav he navigates a series of command line menus and a wall of amber text flood the screen amster scans it mouthing the words as his eyes lift Flit eyes, flit back and forth. Mm. Burakasi's agent tailed Green Winters to a hotel in a chessboard of keys called Drugen Kippe. Drugen Kippe. I said that's how big of a number. Spell me, when you put me. Drugen Kippe. Drugen Kippe. This hotel is called Das Castle House. It is a renovated factory nestled deep in the heart of Drugen Kippe. It appears that Winters is holed up there. Recently, there was some contention between the two gangs over control of this neighborhood. Oh, due to the gang violence, the agent refused to follow Winters inside of the hotel, but he confirms that he is still inside. Ah, oh, okay, jadi ada perkejelakan di cerakan kipe, kemudian tidak mau masuk ke dalam. Well, what are what are we waiting for? A girl slings a rapper over her shoulders with a single spare motion. Cure up people, we have a hotel to raid. Glory and Dietrich pause, pause, exchange look with Paul. Just a moment, eager, Amsel rises from his chair, shoving himself to full height. Even so, he has to crane his neck to look her in the eye. You are an excellent soldier. And nobody questions your competence in the field. Your loyalty to this team is equally commendable. That said, we believe that Holtz is in the right choice to lead the team. There's a long pause before Eager speaks. When she does, her voice comes out dull and flat. Well, don't mistake this decision for a reprimand. Monica considered your contribution to the team to be invaluable. But we all know that she wasn't comfortable putting a soldier in charge. Agar speaks through clenched teeth. Her words are measured, but her expression is livid. This is unbelievable. You want to put this you want to put the rookie in charge? Again? She shakes her head. Don't you people learn from your mistakes? Holt is the reason we are still alive, Eager. He kept, up, kept us together. He led us out of there in one piece, making him your golden boy. <laughs> she sounds tired, resigned, but above all, disappointed. This is more of your fluke state idiocy at work, isn't it? Dietrich reaches, reaches out, puts his hand on her shoulder. It is what Monica believed in. Eager's voice tightens for a moment, her control slips and her face contours in grief. Yeah, and look where that got her. She straightens to her full height. Let me give you a piece of advice. In the field, only two things matter. The mission and survival. Everything else is a distraction. Your ridiculous politics have no place on a shadow run. Dietrich managed a smile. What can I say? We are German. We have a history of strong political views. Eager sigh. The tone of resignation returns to her voice. Screw it. Let's put an end to this. I've got the skill and experience to lead this team. Holtz, on the other hand, was appointed by Monica as a joke. If you rather he take the lead, I'll abide by that. But I want to hear each of you say it. Hmm, ya sepertinya kita akan pilih dan sepertinya pilihannya akan menuju hal yang sama sepertinya. Dan sih sama kita, we should be looking for you. I have no quarrel with you, Eger. Ah, do as the group wishes. Ya yeah, betul, sepertinya yang menuju. You stay out of this. She steps an armored finger into your chest, hard. The moment she raises her hand to you, Dante's ears lie back and he lets out a low groan. Reflexively, she takes a half step back. I think we've heard what Dante has to say. Yeah, 
as for my part, gold saves our lives back there. You might not believe it, but he did. The way I see it, that means I follow his lead a while longer. Glory's voice is uncharacteristically gentle. I trust in Monica's judgment, therefore I trust in Holt's judgment. Hmm. The discussion is finished, Edgar. Amsal speaks softly, but his tone is firm. Holt will take Monica's place as the leader of this team. And setting it down with this is a little good. Edgar, could you give me a second? Yeah. Simple, so very good. Paint, paint, paint. Life long enough to find a paint. Yeah, no, it's been number three. Two, yang paling apa ya? Bijak. I'll do whatever it takes to keep this team and Monica's legacy alive. That includes taking your advice, Edgar. Edgar gives you a smile. That's big of you. <coughs> She looks down from Dietrich. To glory, to Amsel, finally down at Dante. Then she sighs. I don't agree with this decision, but I will respect it. She nods again, more decisively this time. Holds take the lead. Then, conversation close. It's time to move on. We need to focus on chasing down Grand Winters. Yeah, investigate your mission, computers. Indeed. I have transferred the information that we received from Altuk to the computer terminal in the next room. It used to be Monica's personal workstation holds, now it's yours. Monica kept a variety of notes and dossiers on that machine. I would suggest reviewing her notes when you have the time. Amsel turned his attention away from you and back to his computer screen. Good hunting, I will eagerly await your return. I wouldn't suggest driving to Dragon Kippe. The roads aren't safe. Taking the U Bahn will be faster anyway. And thanks for the tip, Edgar. The U Bahn. U Bahn. U Bahn it is. Edgar nods, then turns to check her equipment. The rest of the group disperses in turn. Yeah, there is something here. Kita sudah memiliki tujuan baru. Do not command a team of Shadowrunners when traveling to a new mission. Location you will be able to choose which members of your team to bring and modify their loadout for the run. You will be able to choose. Kamu dapat memilih orang yang kamu bawa dan barang-barang apa yang mereka bawa juga. When members of your team become permanently incapacitated on a mission, they will be automatically extracted for emergency medical care. You will be patched up and ready for action the next time you return to your safe house. Avoid this dose of firepower by always carrying some blue mona trauma kit into the field. These can be purchased at the street dogs office in the Kubasa. So, kita sudah punya tujuan baru yaitu menuju Dragon Keep yang melalui Kubasa. Tapi sepertinya sekarang saat yang bagus untuk melakukan cut videonya di sini. Saya sudah cukup lama ngobrol dan kita sudah mengecek sebagian besar daerah di Kubasa dan dia bisa bersiap-siap sekarang atau ya besok saja mungkin di next episode karena suara saya sudah cukup habis ini sudah malam dan sebenarnya sampai sini dulu thank you for watching and I'll see you again in the next video bye bye